A bit over a week ago I posted a YouTube short saying that I got this new little CRT, or at least new to me, and I thought it'd be fun to have a look at some modern uses of CRT with the help of HDMI converters. So I used to use my mini CRT that I have a video on my channel about from a long time ago, but that mini CRT died a while back and that's why I decided to get this one. And I used to use one of these HDMI converters that you see really cheap on eBay. Um, but the problem with these cheap ones is for some reason they don't output a proper PAL signal. Like it's got a PAL and NTSC switch on there which should work. And if you've got a modern or at least relatively modern CRT like this Sony here from 2004 it works perfectly fine in either mode. But for some reason with old PAL TVs like this one and my old mini CRT, it doesn't output a perfect PAL signal and it just doesn't work. Like it'll be black and white or yeah, probably just in black and white. And um, to fix that, I got this Mayflash PAL to NTSC or NTSC to PAL converter and so using this adapter ch to change from HDMI to composite and then from this to go from NTSC to PAL it worked pretty good but it's kind of annoying having to use two devices just to you know do the one thing so I did a bit of research a few weeks ago to find out what a better quality converter is and then I found out about these StarTech ones. So StarTech, the HD2VID, this is the older version uh, which I got on eBay just a few days ago and um, StarTech have a newer version just with a 2 at the end which um, I think the main difference is it supports input up to 1080p, where this one only supports up to 720. But the newer version is pretty expensive, like a bit over $200 on eBay. So This is the device here, so you can see it's got the HDMI in, and then composite out, and there's a button here to change between NTSC and PAL. And then if you hold this down, you can uh, also change between overscan and underscan which can help a little bit depending on the display so that's that and then I just got one of the um, Chromecast with Google TV things to make it work like a smart TV so we'll plug that in and play around with it a bit when you go into the settings of the Chromecast in the display it does have a low resolution mode of 576p, which is nice, but for some reason it doesn't correct the aspect ratio. So if we go to YouTube now, just to look at one of my own videos, you can see that it's stretching the picture vertically. So that's a little bit frustrating, but at least it's a convenient way to watch stuff on a CRT. And then if we go to something like Disney Plus with The Simpsons, which they kind of fixed the cropping issue, but they fixed it by putting 4.3 in a 16x9 image with black bars on the side, so now there's still black bars on the side and it's kind of squashing it the other way. So, it works pretty good, but it's just that one issue with the Chromecast. But, what we can have a look at next is I've got a Raspberry Pi, like one of the keyboard ones. We'll plug that in, and you can set that to the proper resolution. And we'll see what that looks like. So I've now got the Raspberry Pi running and it is set to 1024 by 768 in the resolution which is one of the 4.3 resolutions which is very handy and if we go to one of my own videos again you 
can see now that it's not stretching the image, which is very good. So that might be a better way to use, uh, like watch online content on a CRT, is to get a Raspberry Pi, put Pi, Pi OS on it, and then get one of these StarTech converters, because that works perfectly. It's a little bit less convenient than um, using the Chromecast because you have to still use a mouse, but it looks really good and it runs perfectly. It, it also just depends on the quality of the display on your TV because on the much newer Sony, the picture quality is pretty sharp and you can read the text pretty easily, but on the old one, it doesn't really have the sharpest image, so you, you, you can't really read any of the text very easily. But it is really cool to be watching modern stuff on an old display like this. The Switch doesn't have 4.3 ratio support, but you can change it between 480 and 720, which for our users here probably doesn't matter a whole lot because the StarTech thing is going to adjust it anyway. And thankfully you can also change the overscan size, so you can bring the corners in a bit, which helps. And then you can play something. So again, you're just going to have to put up with it stretching vertically, which kind of annoys me, but you get the hang of it. It's kind of more of a novelty thing than anything, but it is fun that you can still use old displays like this. And there doesn't seem to be any lag through the StarTech converter. I'm not the best Mario Kart player, but I do really like it. So that'll probably be, be about it, but I will just at the end, we'll have a look at the cheap converter from eBay just so you can see what it does on the old TVs. It's now connected to one of the cheap converters from eBay, and as you can see, it's set to PAL, but on old TVs it doesn't like the PAL signal they output for some reason, it's just black and white. Newer CRTs it works just fine because they support a lot of different video signals. If I change it to NTSC, it just works on the newer one and then doesn't work at all on the old one. So I don't know what it is with the adapters that it doesn't work on old CRTs for some reason, but I'll plug the Mayflash adapter in just so you can see that it kind of works. So that's still set to PAL, so I will have to change it to NTSC and then it gets converted back to PAL through the Mayflash adapter onto this. Because it's going through another converter, the picture quality is reduced again, but at least it does work. But that's what makes the StarTech converter so good, is it just works on old TVs. And then if we plug the switch into it, at a bad time, you can see that it works pretty well, but yeah, it's definitely not as good as this one, so if you want to use old CRTs, that's a really good option. So I think that will be all, so thanks for watching, I hope you had found this interesting like I have.